Hey Fish Tube, how's it going? It's Saturday around 6.45 a.m. Getting down in the fish room early. I'm gonna be moving stuff around all day, getting ready for the fall, some breeding. My desk guys are getting older and I'm gonna be getting tanks ready for them. Moving some stuff out and I'll kind of go through that journey with you. Let's go. Down below is a grow out tank. Cooper Reds. And there are Lemon Blue Eye. And let's see what else. Albino. Albino Green Dragon. And then all these guppies you see on top. There was actually only three guppies when I started this tank six months ago. So basically I've just left this tank alone and grown out fish in it. Uh, feed it every day, twice a day. Do water changes on it once a week. Now what I found with the Plecos is they don't enjoy the huge water changes. So I try to just do 10 to 20, max 30% a week on them. They tend to like that mom to chew on. And I just find that if I do bigger water changes, they tend to struggle a little more. So pretty low maintenance, but everything's growing out. You can see this big male here. He was tiny about six months ago, so he's really grown out. And there were about 10 snails in there, and I can see the explosion of snails. So I'm going to apologize now for the filming, but I just want to make sure we get this documented and what it takes to run a fish room and the decisions that have to be made in a fish room. So today I'm going to be taking a lot of fish out of my fish room to set up breeding tanks. So that's kind of the thing in the summer, beginning of summer I buy fish and then I just kind of want to see how, if it's something I want to keep going with, now I can, I look at them as investments when I buy fish, either for breeding or for resale. So if I pay money, good money for a fish and I need to sell it, I usually end up making my money back and hopefully a little profit, but that's not always the case. And sometimes I do lose money on fish because I want it and then I pay a breeder and I pay top dollar for it, but that's okay. Because in the long term it all works out. So all these guppies are gonna go into my pond, my 100 gallon pond. I'm gonna do trios of the plecos of each one. Now I'm gonna be sending a lot of stuff to the waterfront so you can actually, no matter where you're at in the United States, they will ship them. And you just have to say there that you want my fish if you're interested. So it's thewaterfrontslc.com. This one looks like he might be on eggs. Okay, so pulled out the first mail and a little bit of surprise. We have the wrigglers in there. Still have their yolk sac. So this one is the albino um, green dragon. Albino green dragon. So first one and we have babies. So put those in their own little section and put him in the breeding cave. He's gonna go in a 10 gallon with a female. Two males and a female with plenty of cover. So when we pulled out of that pleco table, we haven't even looked at for six months. Pretty good, they were all tiny fry when we started, so we got some breeders in here. What we don't breed, we'll go to the fish store. All right, so there it is, phase one of the reset. So these guys will be going into the waterfront, so it's thewaterfrontslc.com. And so these guys will all be going there, the rams, I'm moving out. Uh, these guys will be going. So we're gonna be moving the rams. So no more rams. The rams are hard because they take so much time if they don't take care of the fry by themselves. So that's why we're going to move just into discus and catfish. So these guys have laid eggs again. And there's fry, so there's two generations. There's a tiny generation and, a, and the first one. So we'll see if they can pull this off this time. There we go. And these guys are about ready. Probably about a month and a half, two months out. So we're setting up the room for them. And these guys are looking good. So this one right here is going to breed with this one, so it's a male and a female, where are you? Uh, there you are. So those should be a good cross. And then, so that's about it today. 
So that's one thing I recommend if you're gonna do a fish room is do it in phases because it can get overwhelming to do try to do everything at once. So this is probably a one month process. And then eventually what I'm gonna be doing is stacking these guys for uh, breeders. So there'll be a, a row. I'll probably drop this row down and then build a rack on top because I can go up. And then this is gonna be all 20s. So this tank here is gonna end up going under here, under my 90. And that tank right there is a 29. So it's gonna come over to this rack and go on top. I have another one that needs a seal, so I gotta seal it. And then this guy right here is my, one of my very first tanks I ever got. And it's gonna go up here. I might paint the trim, I don't know yet. So, and then this over here, so these are all 20s. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Right here, and coral platies. And then, so this guy is gonna go away. And then I'm gonna do a rack of 20s here, probably extended out lengthwise. So I think I can get probably six to nine. I don't know, it depends how high I wanna go. And then this one right here is going away. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. That's an original tank. And this is all gonna be 20s lengthwise. So I think I can get, that's gonna go, so it'll probably be three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, so six. So six more here, six to nine there, and then six here for breeders, and then the pond is gonna go, and then probably six here. I don't think I'll go to nine, that's too high. And then what I was thinking about doing is racking on top of this 90, but I'm not sure about that one yet. So that would be a little bit tougher. I'd have to bump it over and build the rack over it and give myself probably, I don't know, at least a foot and then I could do it. So the only problem with that is I'd have to get on ladders, which is fine because if you're breeding discus, you need room and really it's all that's left is up. So on this side over here, I built this one up to its height. So 90, that'll be this 33 acrylic. So it'll go under there, go to the little rack. So it'll come up off the ground. 50, 55, and then all 10s. 10s, 20 long, 10. And then this is gonna be, that's a 50. So that's gonna be a discus tank. I'll put a light on it and then heat it. And then this is a 75. And this is just my fun display tank. See the bar going at it. So, gonna be a lot of changes coming up. So, if you would consider liking the video, I'd appreciate it. I know it's not the best video right now, but I kinda wanna take you on this journey. So, as I do it, I'm going to film it. So, probably in the next month, 30, 45 days. Now, the rack building's probably not gonna be for a little bit because I can get going on the breeding as it is and then I might do it in sections. So that's probably over the next year that the racks are gonna be built. Cause I have enough to get going here. So that's why I'm kind of phasing out some fish is I want to just have discus and catfish. That's all I want. And then my display tank. You guys respond again. So that whole top is fry and you can barely see it moving. There's probably a hundred in there. They're pumping around in there and they're good parents. They take care of them. I've seen the male picking up fry today and spitting them back on the cones. So we'll keep the koi and our fish for as long as I need to. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. But the thing with angel fish is they can overrun a room real fast. So you gotta be careful uh, how much you breed those because it's great until you've flooded the market. Now with the waterfront SLC, the waterfront SLC.com they ship all over the United States. So these fish will be in their store. And as I box these up to take them, I will make a video and send that out. And the video title will be, I'm selling my fish. Little clickbaity, I know, but 
that way the subscribers know that those fish are going to the waterfront and they can pick those up. If you're local, you can just go in. Uh, if you're not, I would call. Um, I know he does all kinds of social media, but you could probably get in touch with him through your website. So it's Peter and Lewis at thewaterfrontslc.com. All right, guys, I appreciate all the subscribers. Channel's growing pretty rapidly. I'm pretty happy. So I, I kept, I'm going to keep going. But also, uh, I've invested a ton of equipment into the YouTube. So it's just going to get better. I know this wasn't the best video, but I just wanted to get it out there because I got a ton of work to do in here as far as water changes and feeding today. So I'm not going to do any more tank, fish tank moving or anything like that today. But today is just getting this room uh, cleaned up. All right, because it's a mess. All right, take care. Bye.